And hundreds of Clovis homes are safer tonight in case of an emergency. Action News anchor Corin Hoggart shows us how volunteers help to save lives. Dana Arola walked through Clovis Saturday with enough sunshine to blast through the fog. Good morning, how are you? Alongside her team of Red Cross volunteers, Dana's mission on this morning is to deliver safety to this Tarpey Village neighborhood. Back at the Old Town Clovis Fire Station, they loaded up with a bag of goodies, mostly filled with smoke detectors. They got a lesson on installations and a map. The volunteers took over from there. Do you know how old your smoke detectors are? Walking door to door, they found most homes already protected until they found one in the middle of a remodel. First question, do you have working smoke detectors? As I'm tearing the house apart, no I don't. In they went and out came the equipment. Darren Hughes sized up the walls and mounted the smoke alarms, and then he put them to the test. The beeps confirm their work here is done. The batteries in these alarms are good for at least 10 years, so this home is now a lot safer in case of fire. Clovis firefighters say they haven't had a fire death in almost a decade, and volunteer efforts like this one are a big part of the reason why. Over a third of fire deaths result from non-working smoke detectors in homes. Nationwide, the Red Cross aimed to install 15,000 smoke detectors on this MLK weekend of service. In Clovis alone, volunteers installed about 600. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30, Action News.